Hey, you guys, this reading is going to be for Pisces. So, Pisces, I'm going to um, shuffle these cards and we're going to get some good information from the universe that the universe may want you to know about whatever situation that you in, whatever you're going through. We're going to pull these cards that I created. They are positive cards. Um, nothing wholly negative. Um, just a lot of uplifting spiritual advice. So, um, bear with me and let's ask the universe what you need to know. Universe, give us some information so I can deliver to Pisces. Pisces need to know. What do Pisces need to know? Is Pisces finance is looking good? Is Pisces uh, relationship? Tell me something about Pisces. And my sister, she's a Pisces too, you guys. Pisces, Pisces. Come on, y'all. Give us some information on Pisces. Oh, God. All right. All right, y'all. I think this is enough for you, Pisces. Hopefully, we got some good information. Uh, let's see. I hope it ain't the same. If it's the same information, I will do it over, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Drink this tea. Drinking green tea, plain, with no sugar. I can't have all that sweet. I drink tea straight up. And every morning I drink tea, bring up all this damn mucus. But thank God I haven't caught no COVID-19, none of that shit. Ooh, I had this problem way before COVID-19. And I was saying, I was too scared to go to my doctor to even tell him about it. I was like, they don't get tired of hog sitting. I'm going to go to my doctor and see if he got some pills. But I'm too scared to fucking COVID-19. They may try to lock my ass up in that fucking hospital and talk about, bitch, you got COVID-19. No, the fuck I don't. I'm staying the fuck away from y'all people. Hell yeah, and I ain't going, I ain't working for nobody that if <clears throat> I got to take a test. If I got to take a check, I'm not working for you. Sorry. I'd rather work from home. I'd rather use my little fucking brain the best way I possibly can. Tall and muscular or short and fat. So, Pisces, somebody you dealing with is either tall or short and fat. Whichever one, I don't know. But whichever one, we talking about somebody tall and muscular with a nice body that you find attractive. And then you have somebody in your life that's short and fat. I'm weak without you. Someone is weak without you. It could be the muscular person or the short, fat person. Sleeping next to you felt so good. You smell so good. So one of these men think you smell good. Uh, they feel your body is soft. You must take care of your body. Um, lotion. Keep your skin lotion. You know, when you keep your skin lotion, when you're laying next to a man, your body is extremely soft. I am built from every mistake I ever have made. Yeah, we learn from our mistakes. Illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. So the answer will be a no. And this was the eight of swords. Housekeeping. Pisces, either you a housekeeper, um, you like keeping the house clean, um, cleaning people houses, or either you're thinking about becoming a housekeeper, um, cleaning people houses for a living to make extra money. <coughs> Or this is your job now, or you need a housekeeper to come clean your house for you. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Usually a child or someone who was being disrespectful, grown. The universe is telling you to beat his ass. Up, oh, Pisces. Come on now. Y'all, y'all, y'all on water sign. Somebody about to be rich in the water sign. A hundred thousand a month. 
that came in Scorpio and Cancer and Pisces. 100,000 a month. Someone going to be making 100,000 a month. Somebody is going to master a, a network that's going to bring in revenue. The saddest thing about betrayal is that it never comes from your enemy. Nope. Your enemy never comes from. Black love is black wealth. Yes, it is. Black love show you black power. That power of love. Black love is wealth. Winter time. So something could be happening in the winter time. You could be getting that hundred thousand dollars a month in the winter time. You could hit the lottery. You probably hit the casino for a hundred thousand dollars a month. I don't know. Somebody gonna pay you a hundred thousand a month. You could have came up with a product that's selling that makes a hundred thousand a month. Any new beginning can start now. Find the courage to persuade it with all you have. If I know what love is, it is because of you. You taught somebody how to love you. Receptionist. Somebody could be a receptionist. Somebody could be sitting at a desk right now looking at my video. Mr. Potato Head. I put the Mr. P.H. <clears throat> this is Mr. Potato Head. This is the person who sits on your couch all day. And, and, and watch your fucking TV and eat your food and not bringing in no pinnacles. This is a Mr. Potato Head. This is a fucking potato head, nigga. I don't trust people who don't love themselves and tell me I love you. There's an African saying, which is being careful when a naked person offer you a shirt. Yeah. A naked person offering you a shirt. Just listen to the concept. He was my friend. How could you? So, Pisces, you probably found somebody who cheated on you. And it was a friend. They cheated on you with a friend. Selling. Like I said, sales. These two came back out again. Sales and 100000 a month. Somebody going to be selling something and it's going to shoot off. It's going to shoot off. Break up. A breakup is going to happen. It could happen in the winter time or it could happen now. And now is the winter time. And that $100,000 $100, a month in selling, it could happen in the winter time too. Be careful. Snakes is around. They watching. They probably want to know your plans, your ideas, and your goals. Don't, tell, don't share your plans with nobody. Keep it to yourself until you succeed. Because whether they know or not, you know what I'm saying? People, if you let them know, they most likely they put fucking bad hex on you. Say hurtful things about your business, which the universe have to deliver whatever these people say in a negative. But they don't know that the same message that they deliver your way reverse back into them. So if you say, I hope that motherfucker be broke, lose all their money, don't have nothing, lose their car, their house, everything. Guess what? Guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to end up homeless. You're going to end up with no car. You're going to end up sleeping on somebody's couch. You're going to end up going from house to house. And you're going to end up the fucking broke one. So you have to be careful what you say and the hacks that you wish upon others. Because they'll reverse back on you. You understand? If you speak ill on a person's name, guess what? All that negative going to come right back to you. So the universe will deliver them. So if you say, I wish for this person to be broke and they just so happen to become broke, they're not going to stay broke. No, brokenness is temporarily. And that's what a lot of people don't know. They're not going to stay broke. But guess what? When it reverts back on you, you ain't going to be able to handle the brokenness. You understand? You're going to feel like a uh, suicidal attempt. Why? Because you're not used to not have it. A lot of people could say, oh, I could go without this, that, and the third. No, you can't. Because if you could, you will stand on your own fucking two feet and you'll earn your pinnacles. You'll earn every fucking thing you got. But since you're not a provider and you, you don't earn your own pinnacles in that level or on that line, guess what? 
you can put yourself in a, 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 in a, in a, in a bad situation of losing everything. <clears throat> you put yourself in a bad situation, excuse me, guys, bad situation of having nothing. So never put that type of hacks on a person. Hell no. I, me, of all the years of fighting and fucking people up, I done had over 100 fights with 100 different bitches. I live in Brooklyn. I live in New York. It's five boroughs. I'm surrounded by different nations, different cultures, different race people. People raised differently from me. So they don't have the same principles and the same morals. If someone's pop up or say something wrong to a person like me in person, most nine out of ten, I'm, I'm, I usually knock them the fuck out. I'm, I'm a different breed. I, I usually knock you out. If you say some slick shit to me and I'm like right here and I'm and, and I'm not comprehending and I feel like you're trying to nigga, it's fight time. <laughs> fight fight time. <laughs> it's time to get, get ghetto. <laughs> it's time to be wild like wolves. I'm about to tear shit up. Relocation. Somebody relocating Pisces. Either you're thinking about moving. You could be thinking about moving out of state, out of town. Um everything you do comes back to you. So why be careful what you do, Pisces, because whatever you do negative, like I said, comes back to you. This was the I was explaining this before the card even came out. Everything you do comes back to you. I hurt you. Please forgive me. Sorry. So somebody know that they hurt at you and now they asking you to please forgive them. They're sorry. Come on and relocate. And go to the art museum <laughs> when you get to your new town. Learn the city. Learn the town. Learn your area. Learn the people. Okay. Good luck to you guys. Pisces. I hope you like your reading. I hope that um, you got some great information out of here that can help you along the way on your new journey of relocating. If you like the information I deliver, um, follow me up. And uh, depends on the amount of people that hit a like on this video, Pisces, and then I would do more. Okay, bye.